Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty the Gaming and this is my guide on how to get to the vessel from within the Dark Bramble. So it's going to be a walkthrough, I'm just going to guide you through the pro process. You are going to need the Distress Beacon Signal. You can find one of these on the Ember Twin on the surface next to the crashed Nomai shuttle pod. It's got a big beam of light going to it, get close to it, put your signal scope on it and that will give you this Distress Beacon if you haven't already got it. So when you enter the Dark Bramble for the first time like now, you're going to want to be very careful because there are some anglerfish that will eat you. You can normally tell them because the little circles of light are usually smaller and attached to like a fishing rod. It's like a fishing rod coming off the head. So you do want to avoid them. Now the easiest way to avoid them is don't use your boost boosters on full. Just all I'm doing here is just let myself float towards where I need to be and just tap, tap, tap the boost just a little bit. And you can see how much boost you're putting on because if you look just to the bottom left of the distress beacon signal you can see a gyroscope that'll or like a gravity a um the j's how many j's you're pulling and you can see there look it's just flashing orange a little bit that's just how much boost i'm using so i don't get detected by the fish so as you see we're going towards the first hole and also on this not only are we going to find the vessel and i'll also show you the codes on how to activate it but we'll also come across the Nomai graveyard and also the another Nomai space pod ship thing. Now in this area I'm I'm pretty sure there's no anglerfish but you can be safe like here I'm being safe just in case but I'm sure if you stay close to these these tree trunks the the fish the the to stay away from these areas anyway so all we're doing is we're just following the beacon still and this will actually lead us to the to the crashed pod but this isn't the vessel i won't be exploring it here but you can explore this and there's also a um uh you can go inside this pod and get a few little things with your translator there you can see the pod there just before <laughs> before I crash though. And um, I'm just gonna go around. Then once you get to this pod, what you're looking for is you're looking for some little white lights. That's a trail that the Nomai have left that'll lead you to the graveyard, which is where you're gonna need to use a camera to find out where your next destination is. So you can see now I'm just looking for the lights and they've just appeared there. Lights are just there. So I'm gonna follow them through the tree trunk. And the actual crash space pod's just behind us there. Follow this down through here, and when we get to the end, you'll see a, a, a bramble, which is like what's on um, our hometown, where we first fired the camera in to find the your friend in here. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing. I'm going to fire. I got, I got a first time there, which was good. Just fire a camera through the center of there, and you can take your beacon off. Then you don't need the beacon anymore, and then just follow your your scout signal. And it'll normally lead you to the red hole. I'm pretty sure if you drove to that red hole anyway, you'd get to it. But again, just be careful because I'm. I think around this hole there might be some some fish, but I'm not sure. But when you go through this hole, there definitely are fish. So as soon as you enter the teleporter, let go of boost, and just let yourself glide past these three fish, because this is brutal. It's actually terrifying. Every time I did this, the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. It's actually terrifying watching it back now. So just let yourself float. Now what I've noticed is, what, what my tactic is, I don't activate any boost next to them. Although you probably can activate a little bit, I just wouldn't do it for safety. When your scout reaches, like you can see the, the scout marker now, when that reaches 1.5 or 1.4 kilometers, then you can start just tapping your boost a little bit to get where you're going so you don't die. And all we're doing is we're just going to wait. Now, here we see, right, I'm pretty sure on the right here, see that, that white light on the right? I'm sure that's a fish. And as we get closer, you'll be able to see that it's attached to like a fishing rod from its head, so you can kind of make it out within the fog. Oh, yeah, I'm going to look back here. And normally, if the fish are like away from you and they're starting to disappear into the fog, it's safe to, to activate your boost. So as we get closer here, we'll see that that's a fish on the right. So that's why I'm just being cautious. Again, you can probably get through this area a lot faster if you want to, like, fucking drive your spaceship, like, book your hair or something. Or the Starship Enterprise hitting light speed. But 
I'm just playing it safe. And then once we actually get this teleporter, where the scout is, that, that's there you can see. You can just see the fishing rod on the on the fish's head there. Sneaky bastard. Once we get through this, it's the the starship Nomai Enterprise. That's the vessel that we're going to go to. Once we actually get there, I'll go inside and in this particular video, I'm currently carrying the, the true warp core from the Ember Twins. Or the Ash Twins, whatever they're called. I'm sure that's from the Ember Twin. Oh no, you teleport from the Ash Twin to get it. I'll be doing a separate video on how to get that. The first time I came here, I didn't have this. And you don't actually have a warp core. But this is the steps for finishing the game. So not only will I show you how to locate the vessel. I'll show you how to activate the true warp core. But you'll notice when I climb out the ship, I'll already be holding the warp core. Because I've already retrieved it from the, the Ember and Ash Twin. So there we go. You're just going to follow the scout. The scout always lands in the in the damaged side of the the vessel, which is what you can use to actually get access to the inside. So that's the that's the true warp core that I'm holding. So just fly in. There's no dangers here. There's no fish. You you're pretty pretty safe. And then there's nothing else in the other corridors. There's only this area. And what you'll have is up. I won't. Sh I don't actually show you in this video, but up to the right and up to the left, upstairs, there's two translators, like alien writings you can you can view. So as I you can say, I put the warp core in there if you want to finish the game, and you get to this control pad. So these are the codes that you want to enter. It's the I remember as the L, the first one, and then don't activate anything else. Push the orb to the right, and this is going to be an X shape, like that. And then the last one is like an N shape, but as you can see, <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit funky. There we go. So activate the N in this order. The reason I do it in that order is because it's easy to get the the light ball out the bottom without triggering any of the points. And then once you hit that, it'll go down, and then throw this ball up to initiate the black hole. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop the video there. So that's it, that's how you get to the vessel. Um, there's nothing much else to say other than that's the that's the main things for getting to the vessel. If you want to know what happens after that, well I suggest you go and date yourself. Right? <laughs> Hope you've enjoyed the guide, lads, in a bit.